While there has been some squabbling by extremists on both sides, cooperation between individuals, businesses, and governments has led to real progress. The state of the Bay is improving. Today, we stand at a historic time for the Chesapeake. Some would say this is the moment in time for the bay and all the rivers and streams which lead into it. Our index shows that over the last four years, the bay has improved 10%. Cooperation and science have overcome the narrow interests of opposition. We can see a saved bay in our lifetimes. But a D plus is not yet a good enough grade. We have a lot of hard work ahead. Our ultimate goal is an A plus, and an A plus is represented by a 70. We never believed that the bay and its rivers and streams could be exactly what they were like when there were only 40,000 Native Americans living here now 17 million of us. But a 50 would be a B plus, and that would be an extraordinary accomplishment. Overall, the report shows five categories, five indicators are up, seven are unchanged, and the one underwater grasses uh, is down. Let me run through those that have improved. Uh, our grade for phosphorus is up four points, and up being good, even though it's a pollutant, it's getting better in terms of, uh, of where we're trying to get to. So levels are going down means score is getting better, up four points. Resource lands, up one point. Blue crabs, up five points. Oysters, up one point. And dissolved oxygen, up six points in the last two years. Perhaps th that's the best news because it comes in spite of some very heavy weather, tropical storms, hurricanes, lots of runoff. One might have thought that the, uh, the dissolved oxygen score would have declined. It has rather improved. And we think there's an indication here of the resilience of the bay starting to return. Here's what we want from the Chesapeake and all the rivers and streams. Clean water, abundant seafood, and healthy habitat. Over the centuries, all three have been thrown out of balance. Now, thanks to good science, informing good policy, and being implemented by broad cooperation, the Bay is improving. That some are lobbying Congress and suing in federal court to stop the process is not only tragic, it's mind-boggling. 